Welcome to the Invested Dads Podcast, simplifying financial topics so that you can take action and make your financial situation better, helping you to understand the current world of financial planning and investments. Here are your hosts, Josh Robb and Austin Wilson. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the Invested Dads Podcast, a podcast where we take you on a journey to better your financial future. I am Austin Wilson, research analyst at Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. And I'm Josh Robb, director of financial planning at Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. So, Austin, today's a big day. Big day. Usually we tell people to subscribe, all that fun stuff. Which we are going to but anyway. But today, what we want them to do is not subscribe, is to already be subscribed. That's right. But to join us, join us in our 2022 second half stock draft, third annual. Third annual. So, Austin, we're going to say it at the beginning. We'll yep. say it at the end. Where do they go? What do they do? Okay. So, first of all, all of our social media posts and our email will have yep. a link to Investopedia Stock Simulator, mm-hmm. which is where this will be hosted. Yes. If you don't click on the link, you can still enter. Yes. What you will have to do is go to the games section in Investopedia Stock Simulator, search the name TID, yep. second, 2ND, half, Stock Draft 22. That's yep. the name. Yep. And we're going to say this multiple times throughout the episode, yes. but the password, this is a private group. Yes. Secure, private for all of password. you listening. Secure yep. password with no capital letters nope. and no punctuation. Nope. But the password is Donuts for Life, which is D-O-N-U-T-S for number. The number four. L-I-F-E. Donuts right. for Life. Yep. So we will say this multiple times. T-I-D for the invested debts. Yes. T-I-D. Second half stock draft. So 22. Yep. Two, the number two ND for second half, H-A-L-F, stock draft, 22. Yes. Okay. So that's where they're going. There will be links. It's so much easier just to click a link really and trying is. to search for that, yeah. which will be available all over the place, our social media, all that. Yes. If you can't find it, shoot us an email. We'll just send it straight to you. Absolutely. All right. So th- we want them to join in. We want everyone to join. All right. So the more the merrier. We've done this in the past. If you want to know, you can go back and listen to our old episodes where we talk about our picks or just go to the end and watch, listen to this December episode where we talk about the results. Yep. But every year, we kind of tweak it a little We've bit. We've tweaked it a little bit. So we're going to mix it up a little bit this year. We're going to talk about that, and then we're going to go through our picks. We are. And we will put the caveat out that we are recording this a couple weeks before mm-hmm. the actual draft will go live or the actual yes. stock competition will go live. Mm-hmm. So if our portfolios look slightly different that is because something has happened within the two weeks or whatever between now and then so they may not yeah they may look the same but we'll see so here's the kind of parameters we're setting Mm -hmm. here so here's the game parameters you have a hypothetical not real unfortunately Mm -hmm. hypothetical one hundred thousand dollars yep to invest for six months yep july one july one to twelve thirty one yep so the second half of the year you're going to be competing with josh and myself yep and other listeners Mm -hmm. so that's like highest level possible. You do have to make some limitations in yep. what you can and can't do in this game. So no margin. You're not you know, trading on borrowed money here. No it's short all, selling. It's all borrowed money. Yeah, so all, no fake, more margin. It's fake yep. money. It's fake borrowed money. No fake borrowed money. No short selling. So you're no, not selling short. No options. Mm-hmm. Stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, unit trusts, those sort of things are fair game. Whatever will let you buy. So that's another parameter here. You can join after the challenge officially starts yep. on 7-1. But if at all possible, try and join on 7-1. Yep. That way you're in it for the full you know, six-month time period there. You can join later if you'd like, yep. but the market goes up during that time. You know, Yeah, whatever. There you go. But if it drops horribly and then you want you to could. join, then hey, yeah. awesome. Uh, you cannot, speaking of that, yes. if you make bad mistakes, you yep. cannot reset your portfolio completely. Okay. So therefore, you're stuck. You're stuck. There are no hypothetical trading costs, which is kind of real now. You know, most places don't have trading costs. And this year, we've adjusted it mm-hmm. a little bit. Last year, we had trading allowed. Mm-hmm. The year before that, we did not allow trading. It was buy and hold. This year, we are not allowing trading again. So okay. we are saying this is a buy and hold six-month challenge. Oh, yeah. You pick as many names as you want. There's yep. no name limitations. You can just have a max in a single holding initially of 10%. Yeah. So I could put in 10% of my portfolio one value name. to start. Now, it could grow to be 50% of the portfolio. Absolutely. But... I can't. I just get one. Yes. Yes. So we also will be trading on a one minute market delay, okay. which is as tight as I could make it, just yeah, so I, which is almost irrelevant because yeah. it's six months. But that now, is where here's we are. a question yes. for you. And then just so it's clear. So let's say I put in my name and I get started on seven one. Let's say I invest half of the money, $50,000. Can I come in later and invest more? 
like the cash is available to be invested at any point in time between now and the end. Yes. I just can't sell once correct. I buy something. I believe that is correct. Gotcha. So that is where we are. Those are the parameters of the game. Hundred grand, mm-hmm. traditional mm-hmm. investment vehicles. Yep. Buy and hold. Yep. Six months. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at. Like so it. before we get into the names, let's go ahead mm-hmm. and take a break. Yes. Dad joke of the week. Oh, okay. Bring it. All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm ready. So this is just kind of a little little thought I had. All right. So for my birthday, I had back in February, my mom, she got me a dictionary. Yeah. For my birthday. It was a really cheap dictionary, though. Okay. I just can't find the words to thank her because it's a cheap dictionary. It's a cheap it's dictionary. Stuff. Yeah. That's classic. Yeah. I thought that. I'm going to get you a dictionary one time. Yeah. That'd be a cheap one. It would be. A Don't cheap. worry. It's going to be like an app. I'm an app. Send you an app. <laughs> just one word on a, a paper. Free app. Here's your dictionary. Yeah, exactly. All right. So we're going to go through what we have selected to what we believe to be the second half, second half. winners. Winners. Yep. Winning portfolios. We, we can't both win. So one of us is going to lose at least. Okay. And one of you will probably beat us. So, Josh, mm-hmm. I've got, I don't know, 16, 17 okay. names. I got less than that. So I, oh, I'll, go, I'll go first. Mm-hmm. I also have assigned allocation weightings to this. I don't think that is relevant. Nope. But I put these in alphabetical order. Okay. My first ticker that I will be purchasing is the... <laughs> The Arc Innovation ETF. Oh, there you go. They're down a little bit this year. It's right here. been absolutely slaughtered. It's down to thirty-eight dollars and eighty-five cents a share. It's down fifty-nine percent mm-hmm. year to date, and that's because interest rates have been rising and the profitability requirements for the market have been increasing. People mm-hmm. want profitable mm-hmm. companies, and a lot of these are very speculative. Yep. Well, I'm kind of betting that interest rates are going to come down mm-hmm. on the longer term. Of interest rates, so that is going to allow something like this that's been hammered to get a little bit of a lift in the second okay. half. Interesting. All right. So I'll see how long it takes to pick up on the trend, but uh, my first ticker is FUN Fun Fun. Yes, that's a Cedar Fair, which for us being where we're at, oh, yeah. Cedar Point, which is a roller coaster park amusement park up north of us. They're owned by Cedar Fair, and so that's where they are. They're um, consumer cyclical. America's rock and roller coast. That's right. But they own multiple amusement parks. That's a fun ticker, Josh. It is a fun ticker. (laughs) I see what I did there. Ticker number two for me is Bank of America. Buying Mm. a position in Bank of America, also down 28% year to date, while interest rates have been rising. So theoretically, on the consumer lending side of things, credit risk is one aspect Mm -hmm. of this, but the lending spreads should be pretty decent for them. So there we go. Nice. You want to give me another one? Yeah. Berkshire. Berkshire. In B, B shares because yep. I can't. Yes. You know, I don't have enough for an A share. Uh, Berkshire B shares down ele- only 11% They've year to date. They've held up pretty well. Yeah. They've held up pretty well, but that's a well diversified, technically a financial company, does well in inflation and interest mm-hmm. rate environments like we're in right now. Yep. Even though, you know, there is always the key man risk with Warren Buffett being, you know, ancient. Yes. But that's Berkshire. Awesome. I will do another one. It's cars, C A R Z. Cars. Yeah, it's a first trust fund vehicles. So okay, that uh, is down twenty four percent for the year. But you know, I think that's a good place to be. There you go. As soon as chips get figured out, we get some supply. You're buying things on sale. So be there. My next ticker, and I'll probably do too as well. Again, Disney. Mm-hmm. Disney is the house of mouse. Mm-hmm. They're actually trading under a hundred dollars a share. Wow, it's been a while. Which is well below pre COVID levels. Mm-hmm. Despite the fact that their parks are doing phenomenally well right now, mm-hmm. people are out and about and they're raising prices and doing really well. No you know, COVID requirements or restrictions. That's all pretty loose. And the stock's actually trading at a level that was lower than, you know, it's, it's like you're getting Disney Plus for free. They're trading at a level before they announced Disney, Disney Plus and Disney Plus yeah. is doing really well. Yeah. Now, their one caveat, they've yet to reinstate their dividend. True. So that's part of, I think, their price yes. point. Is Some investors their- have been reluctant to rebuy it. Yeah. But yes, that's a good choice. And my next is Duke Energy Corporation, mm-hmm. which is a utility. You yeah. know, a little bit of a risk off mm-hmm. play here in what I anticipate to be some sort of economic slowdown coming yep. up. Now, people are still going to be paying utilities. Utilities are regulated, so that should be a stable place to be. They also pay a decent dividend, mm-hmm. and I think that that should be a decent place. They're again not; they're only down seven percent. Yep. They, they've held up pretty well. A little bit more defensive, but. Going to have a little bit of utility exposure. All right. My next one is Jets, J E T S. J E T S, the yes. New York Jets. That's right. I'm investing in the football team. No, it's another ETF. So far, you may notice the trend here, but 
tickers are my focus. Oh, is year. it? Yes. Yeah. I just so thought they fun, were fun. Fun, fun tickers, tickers, including the first one, which was fun. But you I don't know how many different ticker. episodes. I love a good name ticker. Yeah. I mean, it just shows some creativity. So I'm building a portfolio on that. And I'm eventually going to be running a mutual fund that's trade solely on I was just going to say you know how some people are all about ESG investing yeah, well you're you're a uh, ticker investing I am it's a and theme it's momentum that's right they have positive momentum cuz everybody's happy so the jets things. etf invests yes. in jets airline airline airline, airline and industry so i'm a fan i think uh, it'd be good they're definitely you know, making money right now when i was putting the my original portfolio before i got this idea delta was actually on my list cuz i did want to participate as this i think the airlines still have room to continue to grow yeah. i mean they're they're, they're booked, and, they're, and I think that's oh, yeah. positive for them. And there's higher fuel prices, but they're just passing that along. Right. So that was going to be a trend. So I'm more of an ETF in this standpoint, but I'm still going to participate. Delta there. is my preferred U.S. airline. Very good. It really is. All right, a couple more from me. Ticker, E-T-H-E. It's the Grayscale Ethereum Trust. Mm-hmm. Cryptocurrencies have gotten slaughtered. Yes, they're down hard. This one's down 78% year to Oof, date. Ouch. 78%. It's not an ETF. It's a unit trust. But okay. Very similar to an mm-hmm. ETF. So, yes, I'm buying a small position in that. I think it's still pretty speculative, but I think it's getting to the point where we've got the, the what we call the merge from Ethereum 1.0 to Ethereum 2.0. We moved from proof of work to proof of stake coming up here in June, hopefully June. So yeah. they've kind of been delaying that a little bit, but I think that's going to be a bull case for that. And I'm going to also here in a little bit talk about the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. But mm-hmm. with both of those, if they ever get approval to become an ETF, the discount to NAV... Mm-hmm is going to go to zero. So that's automatic, like 20-some percent upside. Although I don't think that'll happen in the next six months. That is kind of a, lo- a longer-term thinking there. So little Ethereum. Yep. Next up is Diamondback Energy, ticker F-A-N-G. Diamondback, oh, yeah. like a rattlesnake. Yeah. Bang. Yep. So I'm getting a position in that. It's a, it's a smaller energy company mm-hmm. that's done really well. And I still think we're in a position where the supply and demand dynamics of oil is in that area's favor. Okay. Probably don't need to do two every time anymore. I have about 12. Well, that's good. Time, I'm so going to slow down then. But I appreciate it. That way it's not awkward at the end. So we're It's going to be awkward anyway. I, I'll make it one way or another. My next ticker, PB&J. 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 They are a Invesco fund for food and beverages. Okay. And actually, they've held up pretty well this year. It's more of my staples play. Kind mm-hmm. of a little more just in case the company's still struggling along. Everybody's got to buy food. And inflation for that is being passed along. So Absolutely. That's where I'm at for that one. Here's another one that you're going to get a kick out of. Oh, boy. You, you started stealing a cup of mine here. The Micro Sectors Fang Plus Index 3X. Oh, boy. That is a, it's a Canadian ETF mm-hmm. that delivers three times the daily return of oh boy. T- Fang stocks. Yeah. Big With, tech. Yep. And those have gotten beat up pretty mm-hmm. hard. And the triple leveraged version of them has then gotten hammered. Triple beat up. It's triple down. It's down 81% year to wow. date. Now, caveat to that, just as we're talking to all these people listening. Yeah. Those are not designed for long-term holding. They're actually meant for day trading. They are. So just a little asterisk there. This is your hypothetical money. Going to zero on this does not Hurt bother me. us at all. Yes. Triple leverage, whatever, is not designed for a buy and hold strategy. No, just it's not. Throwing that out there for everybody Absolutely. in the world. Absolutely. Yes. Do your, but, do your own due yes. diligence and research. Yes. This is just one that I, you know, obviously... I I think it's a great idea for this. As the companies themselves, you know, we understand big tech, and they've gotten beat up enough that I think if we did get a little bit of a sustained rally, that would be a really good thing for a triple leverage ETF like this. However, Mm -hmm. like you said, the downside on triple leveraged hurts way worse than the upside. Yes. So if things get worse, uh, that's going to be a very toasty position that I will lose out on. Because... It's harder to recover from the down when you're multiplying that, putting left. Oh, because your downward, yeah, your down hurts yeah. worse than your up. If you go, if you're down ten percent and your triple leverage, you're down thirty percent, and the recover, you don't need a thirty percent gain to get back up. You no. need more than that, exactly. and that's that's where that compounds. That's yep. why I just want to throw that out there for real life. Yes, is this is great for this idea, fun. If it works out, awesome. If it but doesn't, just, oh well. You know, that's why we're using I pretend will put, money. I will even put a caveat that with my fake money, I'm not going. All in on it. Right. Okay. My next one, TAN, T-A-N. Ooh. That's solar. Yeah. Solar ETF. So that's uh, playing into that new technology. And as we're moving to be, you know, that's oh, good. I love it. <laughs> but, you know, solar being a, a newer source. And as we are having higher energy costs, there may be some more incentive motivation to move that yeah. direction. My next name is Liberty Media Corp Formula One. Mm-hmm. So oh, it's a public, yeah. I'm a huge We Formula talked about one that fan. in the episode. 
huge Formula One yes. fan. I love Formula One. I think it's really growing and taking off, mm-hmm. especially here in the U.S. Yep. I just went to Miami and mm-hmm. I saw where they had the race and they had stores and Formula One stuff everywhere. It's like a happening yeah. thing. I went into a race store. Really? There's motorbikes. I showed oh, yeah. A picture I actually of that. saw a picture. That was cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm taking a position in in that company, betting that you know Formula One in the U.S. is going to continue to well, there you and go. they're going to become more and more profitable. Uh, one thing that I like about this one is, yeah, they're down five percent year to date, but their earnings estimates are up ninety one percent. Nice from January, so January to now. So that's a lot of better earnings. All right, I'm I'm going with TWNK, which is short for Twinkie, which is Twinkie. Hostess. So the Hostess brands company they're only down five percent year to date people gotta that's love in, those i mean things. they're again that's, inflation a, that's a staple it's, it's again in the the food area but i'm a snacker austin knows that I love donuts mm. but you know that's one of those that it's there and yeah. i don't think they're really going to struggle much yeah. going forward and it's fun twick twinkie twicker twinkie ticker, ticker. twinkie t- ticker wow. it's hard for You're me to say that is a tough combination for me my next is, as I kind of alluded to earlier, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So again, a unit trust meant to deliver plus or minus the performance of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, world's largest cryptocurrency, yes. down very sharply year to date, 64% year to date. Not as much as Ethereum, but still very sharply. I think it's at, at the 20,000-ish level we're at now, hopefully to the point where it's going to start alluring mm-hmm. some buyers. But again, neither of these positions and crypto or betting the house it's yep. just kind of uh if it rebounds i'll be in a good position for it yep all right my next one is eps now you know being an analyst earnings per share earnings right? per share so this is wisdom tree has this and the fund looks at the sp500 earnings to build out a portfolio and so it just sounded interesting and i like the ticker it made me sound like i was smart knew what i was doing so josh you know. are smart and know what you're doing when it you comes beat to me two funding, years ago. Well, that, that was... You and I made a bet on the direction of the economy, and I got... You won. I happened to yeah. work out. My next ticker is MOS, which is the Mosaic Company, which Ooh. is a fertilizer company. Fertilizer. And I think that, you know, we're... First of all, the shortages from agricultural things coming from Russia and Ukraine is putting upward pressure on prices of that stuff over here, yep. which I think we should be able to pass along to customers, the farmers. But that's going to be good for a fertilizer company over here. So that is my next pick. All right. For me, next is COW, C-O-W. I wonder what they do. Which is uh, livestock. Okay. And so food prices are up, including meat. Yeah. And so I thought maybe that would be a play into that side of things. I, do I like just thought it was an interesting one. I like one. meat. Meat's delicious. Yeah. It's actually only down a half a percent this year. Oh, today. wow. Interesting. Yeah, that is. So it tells you what meat. So that's, again, a little more staple play there. My next pick is Schlumberger, which is a huge oil conglomerate mm. out of Europe. Yes, yep. And they are not up nearly as much as the Exxons and the Chevrons that we have here in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So I think that has potential upside from there. They are only up 24% year-to-date. So keeping an eye on that. But All I think right. it could be an opportunity. All right. My next one is BOSS, B-O-S-S. So this is a fund, an ETF that only invests in founder-run companies. Okay, yeah. So the concept there is if you still have the original founder, those companies tend to do pretty well. And so that's... Like a Facebook. Yes. That was one I thought was just an interesting kind of... With another great ticker. Yes, always. Here's the one that I think is going to catch you off guard, Josh. Okay. Ticker TLT. Okay. The iShares 20-plus year treasury bond ETF. Interesting. I'm taking actually a decent-sized position in that. Because as interest rates rise, longer-term treasuries are more sensitive to interest rate movements, and they have gotten sold off very, very, yes, very sharply. Rough. I think that interest rates, as the economy slows down, especially on the longer end, are going to go down as mm-hmm. people buy bonds for look for safety. So I think that that is going to be favorable, and so I'm taking a decent position in longer-term treasuries. Okay, interesting. My next one is Sky, S-K-Y-Y. Okay. Why there's two Ys, I don't know. But it is cloud computing. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, which, again, from a growth and technology standpoint, there's just more and more demand for cloud computing. Yep. So that was a good play there. That's a first trust fund. I have two more. All right. I have two more. Good play. My next is Tesla. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows it. Yep. It's the number one electric vehicle maker in the world. And I just feel like their technology is, you know, above its peers. And they're getting, they're, you know, they are kind of where they need to mm-hmm. be in terms of market share. Yep. So it's doing really well. They're growing internationally and increasing their manufacturing capacity. Yep. 
pretty bullish on that. There's actually, I just walked by it on my way to the office from lunch. There's a brand new Model 3 dual motor in the parking lot, not of our office, but next to our office. And I was Ooh. walking by and I was like, that's a great looking car. There you go. So Tesla. Model 3. Model 3. Is that? That's their most affordable. SUV? No, that's the that's the car one. Yeah. What's the it's SUV? The Model Y. Y. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. And then they have their truck. The Cybertruck's unavailable. That's but right. yes, still coming. That's But eventually. that's their other kind of model, right? Yes. So they have, well, they, they have, have a, a car. And then they have an S, which is, the S is the sporty sedan. Okay. But it's still a sedan one. though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they so actually have an S2. Truck. There's S3, X, and Y. Sexy. Get it? Uh, okay. And the truck, which is unavailable. And the Roadster, which is unavailable. And the Semi, which is unavailable. Oh, man. So that's kind of where we're at. Okay. The Semi. No one's going to buy that. All right. <laughs> I have two left, so second to last, Play, P-L-A-Y. Cool. Dave and Buster's. I was just there a little bit ago. Yeah. And it's a fun place. Played some games. Yeah. Won some I tickets. Have, yeah. I don't, Ate some pizza. I don't have, like really think anything like crazy about why, but yeah. fun ticker. It's a fun ticker. But, you know, for adults, sometimes you just need to burn off some energy, and that's a great place. Blow some money. That's right. Go for it. My last one is Walmart. Mm. It's a staple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to buy Walmart, no mm-hmm. matter the economic yep. situation they're yep. in. They may change what they're buying, but yep. Walmart will be in need. So position in Walmart. All right. And my last one is iBet, which is online betting. So uh, that's where I'm going there. We just did an episode about that talk with about Will that. Hinks. Yeah. So we'll link that in the show notes. All right. So those are our portfolios. Yes. Tentatively. Mm-hmm. Very Sports different Sports betting approach. and gaming. I think, uh, you know, there's more and more of that going on. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be legal everywhere soon. Yeah. That is kind of where Josh and I are positioned as a reminder. Yes. Let's go through the details again. Mm-hmm. You can click the link in the email, Facebook post, show notes, whatever, to get to this page or search TID second with a two half stock draft 22 in the Investopedia stock simulator website. Which is a lot to do. Just click the link. Click the link. Please yep. click the link. Or email us and we'll send you a link. Yep. Passcode. What's the password Pass again? Passcode. Password. Donuts for Life, D O N U T S, number four, L I F E. There you Donuts go. Donuts for Life, all lowercase. And you can get signed up before 7 1. You can get signed up. You cannot trade. You cannot do any trades until 7 1. Exactly. Until really like one minute after the market opened. Then you're good. Then you're good to go. Okay. So we would love it also if you would email us mm-hmm. or shoot us a note on Facebook or whatever when you've got your picks yep. in. Yep. We would love to go see who's in there. Yep. And, and it's going to be a really fun competition for the it next will be. six months. Yep. So. Thanks for listening. We're super pumped. Josh, I we'll see if this is uh, if the ticker theme is going to be if one of the I'm going to be successful in my new yeah. venture as a ETF fund manager of yeah. creative a, a ETF. A fund games. of funds. A fund of fund. Well, they would just be a regular mutual fund. Of, exactly. Because I would probably only focus on stocks with fund names. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, maybe I could do a fund of funds. Maybe that's I don't know. Fun. I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. Yeah. Here we go. So yeah, we'll see. First I gotta win this before we go any farther. I know, and I gotta win this with my ultra diversified yes. I'm not really taking a bet either you way. You really are. On things. Which may work out. It may, it may not. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. Well, thanks for listening. Please share this episode with anyone you think would have a good time yeah. competing with us in this stock draft for the it's second fun. half. It's free, does not cost it anything. It is absolutely free. And feel free to email us any ideas for any other episodes you would like at hello with the invested dad.com. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Invested Dads podcast. This episode has ended, but your journey towards a better financial future doesn't have to. Head over to theinvesteddads.com to access all the links and resources mentioned in today's show. If you enjoyed this episode and we had a positive impact on your life, leave us a review. Click subscribe and don't miss the next episode. Josh Robb and Austin Wilson work for Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. All opinions expressed by Josh, Austin, or any podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for investment decisions. Clients of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management may maintain positions in the securities discussed in this podcast. There is no guarantee that the statements, opinions, or forecasts provided herein will prove to be correct. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Indices are not available for direct investment. Any investor who attempts to mimic the performance of an index would incur fees and expenses, which would reduce returns. Securities investing involves risk, including the potential for loss of principal.
There is no assurance that any investment plan or strategy will be successful.